All right, so what we got here, we got some lean brisket. I don't like lean. You can see the smoke ring. Now that's legit, is it not? It's red. That's legit. red rib. It holds on its own weight. I'm gonna pull it. Perfect. Damn. And I don't like lean. All right, so we are in Austin, Texas. Colorado Barbecue Boys on travel, travel vlogging. I don't do travel well. We are, you know, in Austin, Texas. We are shooting a couple of barbecue places. Hey, Cody and I, we're here at Franklin's in Austin, Texas. Lone Star <laughs> State, Lone Star Beers, Lone Star Barbecue. That's I right. I like the music, I like the ambiance, and it so much smells like a meat market. It just got that, that fresh cut smell. Yep. Wow. But one thing, remember the three things. Pile of wood, smell the smoke, and um, see the pits. See it all. I'm excited, and so is everyone else. So we're excited. I am so excited. I've been waiting this. So I, I woke up earlier this morning. Uh, Princess here had to sleep in. And his wife, though, was able to wake up early and join me, which is pretty badass. So I think that's always nice. So that, that was thank you. Exactly. Film over there. Look at that. I'm doing it right. Hi. How are you doing? Very good. How are you? I'm excited. I'm doing well. You know what? It sounds like a pleasure. I would love to work with you. I ordered three pounds of brisket moist. Right here? Yep. Okay, and is it okay if I throw a little bit of lean? Yep, yep, throw some lean in there too. That lean was good. No prejudice against lean brisket, sorry. I trust you. Three pounds of brisket, what are you uh, two, two racks of ribs, okay. two pounds of pulled pork, okay. a pound of turkey, okay. and then a half pound of sausage each. I think we got. A, a, can we get another? I think we got one of. Can we get another half pound of brisket? Did we get a quarter of each? Yeah, a quarter. Oh, um. They have really good I pie. Oh yes. Pot, we, want, um, nice we want. We uh, want one of each. Yeah, no. Two of uh, each. Three of each. Three of each. Yeah. Hey, hey. All right. Can they okay. Make a pack? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We had oh, a pound pack. of turkey. That's a lot really of can we can we get the uh, meat yeah. tootsie or? Yeah, oh, what? they're very friendly. What's your name? Hannah. Hannah, what thank you, Hannah. Hannah. Just a little sum sum. A little sum sum. No, Carla. Oh, so cool. it's his birthday today. And it's her birthday today. Oh, really? So Sky, it's his birthday too. All right, so what we got here, we got some lean brisket. I don't like lean. You can see the smoke ring. Now that's legit, is it not? It's red and That's legit. red rib. It holds on its own weight. I'm gonna pull it. Perfect. Damn. And I don't like lean. Try that. Oh, I've been eating it. I've been eating it. You like lean? Yeah. You know what? I can eat that all day. Yes. That lean is better than any moist I've ever done. Now, I know. now I've got a target. Now I've got a target. Yeah, you. I mean, everyone needs a goal. Everyone needs a goal, buddy. If you don't hit that goal, it's okay. But now that's lean. Let's try a rib. No, I Do the one biter. You want some beans? Oh yeah. All right. Man. Tell me when. Pulls right from, pulls right from the bone. Got a mouth bite right there. Yeah. You got that nice little smoke ring. No, I think you should do this for a living. I think he's onto something. <laughs> I think Franklin, I think he's onto something. That is a great rib. And, and it's sweet. Do you think, do you like think Franklin it. should do this for a living? He, he can dabble. He can dabble. I think he's all right. This is amazing. This is brick and mortar. This is just a great place. Did he do this or did his cooks do this? He taught the cooks. Yoda? Yoda taught the other Jedi. Just like I've taught the Colorado barbecue boys. I'm Me and Franklin need to meet. <laughs> really? No. You're a world Franklin, Franklin's, or world famous Franklin's, and you're worried about your dinner tonight. <laughs> Stefan? Wow. He is. I am. What are you having this evening? I'm making all sorry. Day? No. Pretty good. I've yeah. seen the videos. Mass I understand. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. That's all and it is. It's that's done amazing. right. That's all I'm saying. But, but a homie barbecue? Pepper. He'll tell you. It's, There's it's no other really like. But if he did his really own personal brisket, as right. It's so nice meeting you. I'm glad our paths crossed. No, I'm glad, man. It's always a good time. Oh, 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 oh,
Nice to meet you. Thank you, guys. Right, guys, take care. Bye. 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 Yeah, uh, neighborhood myself. competition winner. With, I just want to throw that he out He is there. competition winner of the barbecue. Yeah, I was in the top three. There's only three of us cooking. Four. This is Claude. Four. This is Claude. Five. He's from Canada. And we have Stefan from Germany. hey -o. All right, guys. So what do you guys... Cliff, Cody, tell me what you think about this barbecue so far. So their lean brisket was, was better than any moist brisket I've ever made. Um, and, and they claim salt and pepper only. I have a hard time believing it, but I don't think they're liars either. Uh, no, they they, they stepped vinegary. up. They did what they're supposed to do. I love the vinegary uh, pulled pork. I really did love, love the vinegar on that. Their rib was one of my favorite bites of the day. And, and I know that they're not, oh, that, that most places aren't judged off their ribs. That rib was one of the best bites I had in the day. The sausage was fantastic. The turkey was turkey. Um, the sides were sides. But I tell you what, that brisket and the ribs and the pulled pork, it's where it was at for me. What do you think, Tony? I have to agree with you. Um, the sides are sides. Their sides are good. But the rib had a nice pull to it. I had the mouth bite that I showed you earlier. It pulled right from the bone. It had a really good, now a little vinegary kind of like on? pepper on it. So the brisket's really, really good. It held together like it does in the competition. As you can see, it holds under its own weight. And you pull it, it pulls right apart and has a nice smoke ring. This is the lean. And not only the like lean, but the lean's badass. The pulled pork's pretty good. Actually, I do like the brisket and the ribs. Those are my two favorite. And I haven't tried the sausage, but I'll try it here in a minute. But for me, I always like little pickle, onion, and bread in my brisket. And this is the way I like it. Go around. Um, I didn't try the sides. I did have the coleslaw. It's typical coleslaw. Turkey's turkey. Um, the ribs, I am not a fan of spare ribs or pull off the bone. Like, I want to chew it off. I don't want to, mm -hmm. I don't want it to fall off. I don't care for that. Brisket was good. I set it off camera, had a little side piece with him. I said, I don't know what it is, but his brisket is still my favorite. Thank it you. Is, and it's delicious. We had the conversation of, focusing on one brisket versus mass production, okay? I agree with you. The um, best brisket I ever had was Tony's brisket. Well, thank it you. is good. Thank you, guys. I, I mean, I did beat him in the competition. Everybody chose mine over his. I love bourbon But barbecue right. is always good when it's not your own. So there's that. Pulled pork, spot on. I really like pulled pork. If I could replicate that, I'd be super happy. But other than that, it, I mean, very good. One of the best barbecue places I've been to in mass production. Right. Yes. Rick and Morgan. I love the I love the, the fall off the bone. I sorry just to really get you guys. <laughs> it was outstanding. The, Beautiful. Okay. I really love the, the spice mixture. Really nice. In, in Eastern Canada, as an amateur barbecue, we if we don't add maple syrup to it, it's not going to eat So you like sweet barbecue then? Yeah. Well, it's what we're used to. It's not necessarily what we like. Well, we, that's how we do it at home too. Is like our ribs are always sweet. Okay. Very much so. And I've used maple syrup. I've used brown sugar. I've used a bunch of different sugars. And the wife's the same way. She loves it sweet. So, so, so what you dipping like a rib in make maple syrup would probably taste amazing. No, no, no. Well, you drizzle it as it's cooking, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but the, the pulled pork is great. Um, or dip it. I, my, my parents were uh, pig farmers, so we used to have oh, nice. uh, mishri every summer. So it was done a little differently. But this is really, really good. Um, the brisket, of course, is outstanding. Um, not compared to our smoked meat in Montreal, completely different animal, no pun intended. Uh -huh. But uh, no, this is wonderful. <laughs> I, I, and we just ate at the Hard Eight yesterday, so we do have to, something to compare. There you go. <laughs> now the mystery, that was interesting you said that. that just, you do the whole hog and you yes. put it together, right? Uh, we, and we, uh, my father had, a, uh, had learned how to do it from a Cuban friend. Yep. And you dig a hole, uh, we would save the um, apple tree um, uh, uh, cuttings. Yep. And that's what we would use for the fire, then you bury it. Nice. And you use the whole hog, right? The whole thing. Put and it all together. You, then you open it up and go at it. Yep. It's kind of interesting. They mix it all together. That's kind of interesting. That's a, They do that, a lot of that in Louisiana. Three pounds of brisket, two but pounds you, of... And you added a half. And I added a half, so three and a half pounds. Two racks of ribs is probably about four pounds. So that's a me plate. Two pounds, yeah, <laughs> two pounds of, of, of pulled pork. And you're going to have barbecue again tomorrow? This afternoon. And this afternoon. <laughs> and tomorrow. And tomorrow, <laughs> and tomorrow evening. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> no. You know what? That's really good sausage. Oh, crap. Yep. And you do your own sausage. I do my own sausage. Slow for the camera, though. Real slow for the camera. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't bite it so hard. <laughs> <Church right now. laughs> we, we were going to get the smaller packages. Tone's like, no, 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 let's get the bigger size. We barely took the tops off of these. Yeah, we okay. could have did the... Well, let me ask we you guys. Be, yeah. I'll ask the question now. Was it worth the wait? Yeah. Cool. 
Yeah, it was just for the experience. It was like check it off. Especially what I do for me, again? probably not. <laughs> I um, agree. The experience was 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 something the, else. The people uh, in the, the morning meeting were amazing. Yeah. People in the morning meeting, so they made it go by fast. Um, the people here, the customer service here is amazing. Yeah, um, their customer service here is off, spot on. Spot on. Like it's a lost art. Yeah. We didn't so, see any grouchy people. It was, oh, they were all not so one. happy to be here. They, were they so wanted happy to, do to what help they do. you. It was awesome. Yeah. Yes. If Franklin Funny. ever watches this video, that chick, awesome. Yeah. She, she needs a raise. So you want to do something she really needs fun? needs a raise. <laughs> want to do something really fun? If we're done, because we don't want to take this back to the hotel, hey, get three free people, why don't you finish up for us? For who? Anybody out there, randomly pick. All right. All right. Come Colorado on. Barbecue Boys picking a few people here right now. Guys, <laughs> dig in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, you guys had the right look for you? free barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> Right. We lost my car. Like now I'm worried. Oh, I know, right? Like, like where'd you do the food? That's Nothing. But you see that? So, Zach. Corbs. How big is it? <laughs> How's the barbecue? Great. I'm hurt. <laughs> what do you think, Zach? Very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Are you a fan mm -hmm. of spare ribs, though? Are you, are you? Yeah. So, I'm, More, I like racks better. I but really like. Okay. But I don't yeah. like that. That fatty chunk at the end, it's got bones and gristle and shit. It's, it's pointless. Cut it off. Make them baby back. Well, try the turkey. See if you like the turkey. Because you hate turkey, so give that yep. a try. Is that right for you? Right. Are you mic'd up? I am. Good. All right. See what you think about Resident the turkey. turkey hater. <laughs> he hates turkey. So, no, that's okay. All right. Do you think you're influenced by, by what you read before you tried it? No, I'm comparing it to uh, uh, rum and buffalo. Nope. Um, no, you're comparing it to yeah. seasoned swine. Okay. You. Yeah. Whatever your name is. With this in front of me, that's not Quinn, worth the time. You want a pie? <laughs> so. Generation. Everywhere in Texas. Yeah. Dad was a Baptist preacher. Tyler, Chapel Hill, uh, Kilgore. Uh, and the other kitchen manager, I'm the daytime kitchen manager, and the other one finished them last night. We had another guy. Um, we have 84 going right now. We we slowed down in the week so we could, we had to open up the fourth pit and some other stuff, so we did some earlier took it in the week in the gold bellies. But we're gonna serve 84 tomorrow. What y'all are eating is that's that's out of our minds right now. Um, this is all for tomorrow. And I know 84 doesn't it sounds like a lot, but for us it's like four bits is very important. Uh, so we started them at like 10 30 this morning. They're gonna cook until about midnight, 1 30 in the morning. They will get full by the next few people that come in, brisket cooks and our rib cook will come in at about midnight, start seasoning beef ribs and the pork ribs. The moment all the briskets come off, there's going to be three pits loaded with pork ribs, one whole pit loaded with beef ribs, and a whole pit loaded with turkey. So we'll be within 30 minutes of the briskets coming off, we're completely cooking the rest of the protein for tomorrow. And as soon as that comes off, there will be a 30-minute window tomorrow morning for like 9.45 to 10.15 where we reset our fires, get the ash out, we start cooking briskets again. So it's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Except on Sundays, we're not cooking past noon, and we clean the pits, and then we'll relight on Monday. When we relight on Monday, they will go, they will be lit just like this, the whole week. Like this, the fires will look like this 24 hours a day. Well, not like that. There will be like hotter fires at certain points, yeah, yeah. but there will always be a fire going. We will never relight them. <laughs> These are just propane cylinders. They are a retired propane tank, yeah. probably from the 60s and 70s. Uh, did y'all remember we had a fire in 2017? Yep. These three units were in the fire. They are black. They took all the patina off of them. They cleaned them real well. Rusty Shackle? Rusty Shackle for was he a, How a, important was he to Texas? He was a Texas Ranger. I just made that up. I, I made it up on the fly. <laughs> he was Del Dribble. Remember Del Dribble from King of the Hill? Oh, yeah. It's his alter ego. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. So it's now Shorty. Where are they sitting at? Where are they at? They're all over the country. Okay. Uh, just retired? Somebody bought them? Retired. Or one of them, some of them were in like a museum. 
Which one's the original one? Is that left? This is Muchacho's the one that originally. I was gonna say it's got the square firebox. Miguel read the book. He talks about making Muchacho in his backyard. I believe it was a partially built pit when he bought it. He finished out and he based all the rest of the thousand gallons off of Muchacho. Uh, when we season our briskets every morning, we every time we season one, we weigh it and then we put them in light weights. Uh, weights. So these usually have about the six to seven pounders. Down at Mindy will be like seven, seven to eights. Then we'll go to Mork, and that'll be eights. Or probably a continuation of seven to eights. We'll come down to six, and be eights to nine, and we'll talk to them. Whatever the biggest ones are, they could be 15 pounds down to 10 pounds. The reason we do that is because, one, that they will cook more evenly throughout the cook. The most gentle pit we have is slower than all the rest of them. And then, uh, Mindy's really slow. We, more it's really slow. Six it gets pretty hot pretty quickly. And the Chacho, correct. It, it's a very hot pit. Um, that's the pit we do all the beefers on. It's the most aggressive and it cooks the best. How, how old is your wood? It's probably eight months old. Eight it's months it, from it, fresh? It, it depends. Sometimes it comes in more green. Um, do you use the green wood or do you do you mix it up? or? We, we honestly, we use so much of it. We just have to use it. Okay. We try to use very seasoned wood. Do you prefer seasoned wood? I personally like a little bit more dense wood in the beginning of the cook, and then as the cook goes on, I want it because I want look slower fires, like the flame. I want it to be slower, and you got to start using more seasoned wood because you got to keep those fires right. You can tell uh, right now. And you opening those doors doesn't affect it. I mean, you you've got them dialed in that I, well. They're burnt off enough. So what's a dense and what's a there's a dense. That's a dense. You look at it and you're like, oh shit. It, yeah, it's, it's heavier than it looks. Is that because it has more water? This one's lighter. Yeah, it's more water. And this is more seasoned. Yeah. Because right, the water came out of it. Got it. It's a little, it's a medium dense. It's good right now. So. Yeah. But. So dense in the beginning. What, what if you uh, didn't have dense wood? What would you recommend? Uh, seasoned wood. You just got to run it a little differently. Less, lo less sticks or? Yeah. See, in this mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. the way I've got it running right now, yeah. they haven't run it. So you, as you're walking by, are you so accustomed? As you're walking by, you you know where they're at. I can sometimes just walk by and like, oh, I know this one needs a little oxygen, so I have to put it open or like. You can see the way that they glow with the wood being in there. The brighter color, the more yellow it is, the more violent it's going to be. The more orange and, and very dim like this yeah. is, it's got a good fire going. And I know this is probably a little low. Well, are you? Is your superpower immunity to heat? Because you're just standing between these, holding those handles. Holy cow. They didn't get up to 130 degrees in the summertime. Like the hottest night I've ever had was in the, the hottest spot in the whole room right here. Why not my super fires? 350 degree firebox. This is when we were finished and hotter. It was 350 degrees of heat right here. Can I get your number? Uh, <laughs> nope. Hey, because watch, watch our videos. So if, if Aaron Franklin had his smoker and you had your electric, who would do a better brisket? That's all you guys got to do. You would? I challenge you. All right, fair enough. That's, right. that's bold. That's bold. <laughs> that's all right. Fair enough. <laughs> no, no, I'm not sure. No, 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 no. But the only thing that I do have a problem with with color smokers, you can get Dude, look at him. He's picking it. He's hand flavored smoke like a wood can. So in Colorado, all we have is old hickory. It's propane assisted, and you got an 18 year old calling himself a pit master. He hits a button, and, yeah, yeah. and that's why I was trying. I, we, we came out here to see what real barbecue is. What it's, I, I'm from Texas too. My wife's seventh generation Texas. I, we're from here. I just lived in Colorado for two years, and I, I was telling these guys that's why I have the offset. I'm like, there's an offset for me. And I, I know you're electric, but I like the offset. And uh, anyhow, long story short, I go, you got to see why Franklin's is Franklin's because it's a 24/7 deal. It's not a kid who goes home at night. Yeah. This is the real deal. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to Snows for Tootsie's 80th. Yeah, yeah. Then we're gonna go to Smitty's today. Maybe. Go get some sausage. Get that sausage. But. Which one? <laughs> Smitty sausage. Yeah, Smitty sausage is, is badass. But I like their pits. Just see the pits. Just show how things were done way back when. And Blacks, Blacks has good beef sausage, but I like their beef rib. It's good. But I, but I like uh, Smitty's though. Smitty's is just old school. It is. It is. Yeah. Hey, I did salt and pepper for the last thirty years. I've done salt and pepper, and I do mustard. I do mustard and then salt and pepper. But I put a bunch of 
bunch of random shit on it, and I still made a better Christmas. Wow, someone, 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 I'm sorry, shh, it's okay, you're happy, but it didn't shh, matter what was on top. Someone needs a hug, I'm sorry. No, it, it didn't wow, matter. I had wow. more penetration. Get this on camera, I'm smoking. sorry, Greg, I'm so sorry. Oh, all choice. All choice. Wow. Wow. wow, and this is why I love my neighbors. It doesn't fucking matter. This is like a lobster tank. We pull each other down. We pull each. We pull each other down. I'm pretty sure it's on camera that you have the best brisket I've ever eaten. Thank you. Because I've never eaten my own. So fair enough. Now I'm gonna do a selfie with Jordan because uh, bodacious barbecue. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate your time again. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. Well, thank you. Is Tony still there? Yeah. Oh, probably. So I've eaten a lot of barbecue. I can say goodbye. <laughs> thank you.